give it some, or start it. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage. So, today's the day. Um, last weekend, we went and got our new project truck. So, I haven't been able to really do a video on it because of the weather, because of work, all that kind of stuff, because really this thing deserves daylight for you guys to see. Needless to say, we broke Caitlin getting this truck. Yeah and it won't move oh and as you guys can see oh there's a new project um this is a very ungood spot for this to happen i was actually on that road over there and i came down to the intersection and i, I had to stop the truck started making some noise a minute ago anyway i was able to get through the intersection over here by coasting across the intersection um but we're gonna unhook the trailer my buddy's gonna come get it and i'm gonna light this thing on fire now that being said we were going to break caitlin regardless i feel um it was inevitable um like my father kind of consoled me on it and said you know hey at least you weren't trying to go to indiana or something like that when this happened and he's absolutely right you know thankfully it was local it was only about a half hour from the house i had a friend who lived locally to be able to get the trailer to get the the project truck was able to get caitlin towed all that kind of stuff so anyway it sucks, but we are where we are. So, not to dwell on the past, we are in exciting times with the new project. So, I am excited about this thing, and uh, well, here she is. Well guys, there's our new project. Um, yeah, so this truck I found on the Craigslist. Um, it was down in Delaware, actually right near the hunting camp. If you guys follow the channel, you know I'm a hunter and I belong to a hunting club down in Delaware where that's where we picked this thing up. So as you can see, it is a Dodge Ram. It is a standard cab, short bed, two wheel drive, and the coolest part about it well the short bed's pretty cool to be honest but 
she's got the old man mission she is a manual transmission truck which is pretty gnarly so this truck i'm sure you guys are expecting it to be a cummins it is not it does have a straight six though i will say that it does have a straight six this truck is a 1984 and if you guys know anything about the cummins trucks they didn't start putting the diesel in these trucks until 1989 i believe it was so this is not a diesel truck but standard cab short bed i don't know that i've ever seen a first gen um with a short bed like this so if we ever you know come and swap it which we'll, we'll we will talk about here in a little bit um it will probably be one of very few that's for sure now guys i just called this thing a first gen um when you talk about these trucks the generations get kind of tricky um i feel that everybody kind of equates the the nomenclature of first gen second gen third gen fourth gen with the diesels right so this would be a first gen diesel a uh, second gen would be the more curved uh type with the p-pump and then later the vp44 and then the, the common rail came out with the um 2003 trucks that's a third gen needless to say this truck shares a ton of similarities with what we consider a first gen these trucks were like this from the factory from dodge for i don't know 20 years somewhere in the 70s they started producing this body style so where it looks just like you know an 89 or whatever it is a bit little bit before that so is this a pre first gen i don't know but for our sake we'll call it a first gen it just makes sense i mean it is that body style that old square body style which ford chevy dodge it doesn't matter which one you like the square bodies just look killer so anyway guys as you can see she is a bright yellow color she looks pretty good from uh about 10 or 15 feet away that is for sure but we'll start on the exterior of the truck so as you can see the paint is a very bright yellow um so she's obviously been repainted but it is not the best paint job in the world that's for sure it's coming off in a bunch of spots um it's just not the greatest it just it stands out but yeah it's kind of kind of it's going to need a paint job that's all i'm trying to say so anyhow as far as that goes we do have some other issues as you can see the cab here has some dents and dings and whatnot the drip rail here is starting to accumulate some rust somebody changed the mirrors out put these little mirrors that are pretty much useless on there but we still have our holes uh yeah so we got these uh, pretty neat looking wheels they're older style that's for sure uh the bed we got a little bit of rot starting to bubble up here on the bed uh around the fender well now our fender itself is pretty solid that's pretty good you know these things are just like all the dodges they like rotting out in the fender wells the doors the rockers all that kind of stuff on the driver's side here this rocker is not in the best of shape it's starting to rust through well it has rusted through there um but really for a 1984 i can't say it's in that bad of shape when we move to the back of the truck we see that it does have a farm plate the guy i bought this from all his stuff has farm tags on them we got a roll pan you know the tailgate's looking pretty good the truck does have a bed liner in it um like one of these uh rhino liners or whatnot we got a little chipping on that um our roll pan which makes a truck look phenomenal by the way is uh well not tight as you can see it also has a dual, dual exhaust and for for what it's worth this truck sounds really good for a v6 i was very surprised about that but then we move on to the passenger side so as you can see we have some damage so this bedside is not in the best of shape neither is the door the door might be able to be repaired and you know pop back out but then again we have these holes so do we get a new door for it i don't know but our fender well here is starting to bubble up with some rust but it's not terrible now do we need a bedside for this i don't know i'm not a body guy at all but it's not in that bad of shape for what it is that's for sure um moving up to the front passenger side of the vehicle same thing we got a little bit of bubbling rot coming through here but it's still pretty solid that being said 
and uh, yeah so really cosmetically on the outside of the truck like I said 10 feet away truck looks pretty good um, but once you get up to it she has a lot of flaws also she has these LED headlights that somebody put in and work and the coolest thing about the exterior of the truck well that's right here I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I'll show you right now so you can't see it here in the daylight but I have a picture that I kind of posted on the Instagram the other night, but the, the eyes on our hood ornament, they glow, uh, they light up, which I think is pretty cool. Also, our LED headlights work. All the lights work on the truck, which is fantastic. So anyway, guys, that's the exterior of the truck. Moving into the interior of the truck, as you can see, it's not in that bad of shape. If you look at the seat, the seat is in good condition. The dash is in great condition. We have our shifter, which is pretty cool. Our carpet looks great. Three pedals on the floor. The, uh, the inside of the doors, they could use a little work. Um, as you can see, our handle's a little floppy. I know this window doesn't want to go in the track all the way. It's a little, you know, screwed up. But overall, it's pretty good. Now, if you deep dive into this thing and you start pulling a floor back, we will see we do have obvious uh, floor rot. We have a hole here on the passenger side. It's not as bad, but it's getting there. So that would have to be addressed at some point. But overall, the condition of the interior is pretty good. So that being said, talking about the rust, that's where this truck kind of shines if we get under the truck as you can see our cab mounts and all that yeah they got some rust on them but they're solid there's no holes in the the cab mounts there's no holes in the frame everything looks good in that regard um, usually you'll find these things this is all rotted out and the frames all rotted out now that being said that does not mean that this does not need attention you know this should be cleaned up and then painted that way it stops rotting but also our floor needs some attention so you know it needs work but it's not the worst thing to start off with that's for sure so that is the interior and the exterior of our little project truck our 84 so now into the engine compartment what does this thing have like i said before it's not a cummins it's an 84 they did not put that engine in here in that year but we still do have a straight six so there she is guys uh yeah it's it's definitely easy to work on that's for sure it's very nice in these old trucks compared to something newer there's not a bunch of stuff cluttering everything up Anyway, we have a uh, slant six here. I believe it is a 255 single carburetor. And it honestly, it runs fine. It starts right up, but it doesn't like the cold. When we brought it home the other day, it was rather chilly out. The thing didn't want to start. Now today, pump the carburetor, you know, pump the accelerator a few times and the truck started right up. Once you get a little heat in it, the thing runs fine. Other than we got a little bog problem, which I'll show you right now. Also, the uh, throwout bearing seems to be bad. It just makes a lot of noise. But anyway, as you guys can see, the truck starts right up after you, you know, initially get it running, get a little heat in it. But here's the problem with it. When you go to smack the accelerator, that initial um, you know, flood of fuel, if you will, really just bogs the thing out and it doesn't like it. Now, if you ease into the throttle, it is fine. Here, I'll show you right now. So if I just whack it wide open, So it's not doing it as bad as it was. It's got a little bit of heat in it now that we've had it running a minute or two. But when you initially start the truck, it just wants to die when you do that. Um, but you can hear that like bog. So I don't know if it needs a carburetor or not. I don't know and really know much about carburetors. You guys know, let me know. Uh, but 
Other than that, the thing runs pretty good. I'm pretty set, uh, stoked about it. We don't even have to swap this truck if we don't want to. Now, that being said, we do have some performance modifications on the truck. As you guys can see here, yeah. that is a hooker competition header. So we have a hooker competition header for this 255, which I think is pretty cool. Somebody wanted to hot rod this thing a little bit. And I'm pretty sure that air cleaners should be much bigger, you know, just with the times, they're usually, I don't know, about a foot in diameter and stuff. But yeah, the truck starts right up. As I was telling you guys previously, the truck sounds pretty good for what it's got for a power plant. Not too shabby. Hopefully you guys were able to hear it in that little clip when I would smack the accelerator the thing would kind of bog down and almost die um, you know in then it would kind of roar back to life so I don't know what the reason is for that like I said comment down below this is very new to me the whole carburetor thing um, so let me know down in the comments so guys that's kind of an overview of our new little project truck our little uh, I think this is actually a D d100 um it's a half ton truck obviously but yeah just a little overview i'm kind of stoked uh i love i love the standard cab short bed look it's definitely cool um and here's where we get to what are we going to do with the truck and that's where i don't know so i don't know what we're going to do with it i saw the thing and we picked this thing up for 1500 bucks so for that price range we could all always get rid of it probably make a couple bucks but that's not really the plan right now um what i think i would like to do is get the carburetor situation uh situated um figure it out so that we have a good starting running truck something we can actually drive um if there is a little cruise night or something somewhere we can take the truck yeah it's not the prettiest thing but it's definitely something a little different so that being said Get the carburetor right get the thing running driving you know fix what we have to i'm sure this thing needs some work as far as like bearings and seals and different stuff like that just to get it reliable and then i don't know um ls swap maybe i know you guys really would love to see a 12 valve in this thing with an mv4500 or a 5600 bit or a 5600 um I don't know, honestly. Uh, just kind of pick this thing up on a whim because, well, it's just a neat looking little truck. And when I got there, like I said, the rust, yeah, it has rust. It has its body issues, but it's not clapped out and the price was right. So, you know, comment down below what you want to see with the truck. I'm pretty sure, knowing my audience, you guys want to see a 12 valve in this thing with an nv5600 that's my guess but i don't know um i would love to ls swap something at some point just to see what that whole world's about um so all that being said like i said i don't know my plan with the truck you know restore it that kind of stuff i don't know that we're going to go that far i just like having this neat little thing around um but with all of our other issues with caitlin with Moby Dick up there, which Moby Dick now has uh, been moved to its final resting place. I used the four-wheeler and kind of screwed up the driveway a little bit, which I have repaired. But we took the wheels and tires off of Moby Dick, swapped them onto Veronica so she has a good set of wheels and tires on her. She's looking proper again. Could use a wash, but anyway, with those issues on Moby Dick, the issues on Caitlin, this thing is certainly not going to be a priority that's for sure we also have our four link we're in the middle of with the race truck there is just a lot of stuff has popped up here in the last week and we are busy 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 so anyway guys that is our new project that's our d100 our 1984 dodge d100 pickup truck standard cab short bed two-wheel drive stick shift definitely a cool little truck i like it um 
Let me know too down in the comments what you think about the yellow. Um, it definitely popped to me, but I don't know, you know, if we ever do a full restoration on this thing or something, I don't know if we should keep it or not. Let me know. So guys, I hope you're excited. Like I said, I don't have a plan for this thing. I want your ideas. Throw them in the comments down below, but we will try and get this thing running and driving before we ever pull the motor and transmission out of it and just get it to be you know something we can take out every once in a while drive to work once a month or a couple times a month or whatever you know take it somewhere and just hey we gotta go get ice cream we'll take we'll take the old d100 also we need a name for it so put that down in the comments as well give me a name for this truck and we've never named a race truck so maybe a name for that too would be nice so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're excited for the new new project truck. Like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Get out in your garage. Get the wrench in on your truck.